good evening. So, um, I'm en route right now to Bible study, um, Wednesday night Bible study in the truck and, uh, heading there right now. And I just want to give a message to the ladies. Um, I'm talking to married women, ladies right now that are married to an unbeliever. Um, talking directly to you. I just want to give you some encouragement and some hope. I just want to encourage you that your prayers, your prayers for your your husband and his belief, keep praying. Keep pushing in. Keep pressing in. I want to talk for a moment just briefly as this is deep in my heart. And I want to talk to you because this is near and dear to me. Because I myself, I prayed for years. I prayed that I knew that God would. I'm in a married, I'm married, I'm in a covenant relationship. And I was married to a man that was not on the same page as me. So I would have many Sundays going to church by myself. Many times that I would just pack the kids up and go and come home. And I would be like, man, I really want my husband to come along with me. And I just want to encourage you today that I want you to understand that keep pressing, keep that hope and faith because I never stopped believing in God that he would change and come in and move in my marriage. But it starts with us ladies. It starts with who we are and our walk. So I want to give you a scripture that I held on to and that I believe will help you today and that would really help me in my marriage and my walk. And I just want to tell you, if we turn to 1 Peter 3, I'm going to read this. I'm sorry if it's a little bumpy. I'm in a truck heading to church, but this was so on my heart. And I'm going to read 1 Peter 3, 1 and 2. And it says, likewise, wives, be subject to your own husbands, so that even if, you, even if some do not obey the word, they may be one without a word by the conduct of their wives when they see your respectful and pure conduct guys i just want to tell you ladies you know that our conduct our walk with god has to start first we need to be where we are before we start badgering the lord is not a forceful god he does not force anything so I'm going to tell you today, I encourage you as I pray for year after year after year, keep praying. Let your conduct, let your respectfulness, let your let the way that you are show your husband that you are a woman of God, that you mean what you say, that you're going to get up and that, that he sees Jesus in you. You submit to him and just say, I'm going to do what the Lord says. And babe, I'm believing. I know that God has us. And I'm holding on to that. And I want to tell you right now, after year after year after year, I prayed. And I never stopped believing. I held on to God's word because his promises are true. And ladies, let me tell you, I'm living proof. And my testimony is true. I'm sitting here in the truck with my husband. Hey ladies, how y'all doing? With my husband, Pastor Ben, who was a man of God, who changed, who God came in and moved. So I tell you today, and send this encouragement to you, if you are in this situation, stay firm. Stand firm on God's promises and God's truth, knowing that he has it taken care of. Pray for your husband. Encourage your husband. Love your husband. But stay and let God do what he wants to do. It happens with us first. Take these words from me. Know that I love you. Know that I'm a breathing, walking, living testimony. And my marriage today is one under God and we love him truly so I hope and pray that this helps you today stay faithful in your prayers push and know pray until something happens because our God hears and he knows all so ladies I just say right now in the name of Jesus father God Lord come in and move 
move on behalf of the ladies today. Father God, I say that you give them strength, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, when times are tough, Father God, as I came home, Father, and cried out to you, as they're doing the same, Father, Lord, you are not a respecter of persons. If you did it for my husband, you'll do it for them. And we stand on your word and we say it's true in the name of Jesus. I claim marriage is saved and that they're one in you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Ladies, I love you so much. Know that our God is amazing. And if you have faith, trust, and belief, push and pray and stay firm. Stand firm on his word in Jesus' name. I love you so much. If this has blessed you, please let your ladies know. Please share with your women. Please let's get this out there because we've got to come and stand for our husbands. Stand and let them be the man of God that they're called to be in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Love y'all. Love you guys. Guys, God is good. God Amen. is good. Amen. Amen.